All right, so now it is time to get our oil pan done. Get it under here. Get this oil drained up. A bit of a tight fit there on my socket. Alright, so we got our oil drain, so let's start disconnecting stuff. Let's start back here in the back. Hopefully, we'll just let some of this float out of the way. So it looks like we got four in the back. One over here for the shield. And then it looks like we gotta take uh, the position sensor off. Hang free. There we go. Now we need to unclip our little clips for the wire and harness. Now we get it going on. We gotta twist it on the outside. If it needs a tiny little screwdriver to poke a hole in. There we go. Have to pull up sideways now. There we go. Alright, so now we get to move to the front. I'm going to take the belt off because i got to change the belts anyway. So let's just do that. We'll just take the belt off. Let's reach up in here. Let's see if we can get the belt off. And that'll relieve the tension on the tensioner. Go ahead and take the bracket all the way out. Take this other little bolt off right here. The whole tensioner assembly. Out. There we go. All right, so now we can get set up under here and see if we can do this. Little front one. Let's scoop some stuff yeah, out of the way. This one's got a few things connecting to it. So we'll go ahead and take that bracket off while we're at it.
Now we can see a little better. If I can just tuck that up there somewhere. So, yeah. So we got a little pump out of the way. up in there like that. This hose line has to come up here and it's got a 10 millimeter on it. like we can leave that bracket on the on the oil pan. I think it'll come down with the oil pan. We just gotta make sure we get that line out of the way right there. And then we'll get the rest of these little clips taken off and go to this wiring harness. And we ought to be really close to dropping this now. Alright, so looks like What's left is, there's a bolt holding for this hose, and then there's a bolt holding this little hose bracket, and then there's two on this side for the this uh, line right here that runs over. So I think once we get those, we should be ready to uh, start unbolting this old thing. second one right here on the side right behind the little scavenge pump right so that freed up our other power steering line so we can slide him down out of the way we'll let him leak out a little more And, barring any unforeseen circumstances, I believe that's got her. All right, so now we're ready to start taking these bolts off. There's these four star bolts up in here, but there's a little bracket in the way. It's got to get taken off. Hold these wires right here, because you can't get a wrench up in there. There we go. So we got a bracket out there. We should have room to get the wrench in there. We got those out. And then we can get to the wrench. Now this will be a long process, so I'm probably not going to video all of this, taking all these and just sitting in the studio. So we take all of these around, all the way around the front, all the way around the side, and theoretically, this oil pan is going to come out of here. All right, so we got all the bolts out of the oil pan all the way around. Uh, all were pretty easy. These are all the same. I got two left in there holding it up right in the middle. And I'm going to put my jack under it. So over here, you can see in the box, these are kind of the special ones around the front. This is the front of the engine on the driver's side. 
those are a little different and then this one is uh, a torx head and those in the back are the big torx heads that go to the uh, bell housing and then these four are torx heads but these you're going to need a special tool for because the hole is so tiny that goes up in there so with your little kit for your stars um, it comes with the adapters but I'll show you what it is the adapter is too big to fit in to the hole so it won't go up in there to let you get it up in it so your choice is either grind the diameter of the adapter down or you can purchase extensions like this if you plan ahead so these are some thin extensions they're like uh, little drivers and they fit up in there and so you actually need to have uh, two or at least six inches worth of extension and so for me I just have two two extensions and so then with the two skinny extensions and you can see they're narrower and so they'll slide right up in there and allow you to get that torques out or those four torques that are right there so that's about it everything else went pretty good and so we'll set the camera up put the jack up under it takes two bolts out and lower it down so we'll be back as soon as we get set back up on the tripod all right so now we're ready to put our transmission jack up under here let's get him pulled over here and what we want to do is lower it down ever so easily Way. Not real sure where the center of mass is, but I'm going to bridge across the little bump in the front and back here to just to the side of the drain hole. The motor's at a little bit of an angle. There we go. So you can loosen these up and tip the whole frame and so I leveled it up to where now it's touching the oil pan on both spots so now we can take off our last remaining two bolts right now what I'm going to do is just bring it down just a few turns leave them loose just so those bolts will catch right, so if all goes well, this dude ought to just drop out of there. And it looks like it is. So we'll go ahead and take our last two bolts out. See if we can carefully lower this big chunk of aluminum out of here. So the center of mass is at the back a little bit but we can balance it with our hand. All right, so we got it so we can roll it back. That's what makes this jack kind of handy, see now. We got it low enough that we're clearing most everything. We just gotta be careful. Hang on things. I'm gonna just roll that puppy right out of here. So there's our oil paint. 